Welcome everybody to Evernight, as voted on by you, the community, to be the next map that we do in our series. Uh, I want to thank everybody for voting. I think in the future I will throw up a, a few more votes for if I'm split between maps, or maybe I'll have you, the community, just pick maps in the future. For those of you watching, uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I had an idea the other day. If there are any map makers among you who want your maps featured, let me know. Uh, don't send me the map links yet. I think I'm going to do a big post about that. But if there's anybody who's interested in the idea of sending me your maps and then I do a great big live stream where I, you know, feature half hour chunks, let me know. Without any further ado, let's get started. I hit start. Button went away. Come near the TNT. Oh. Whoa. 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 I have played a lot of adventure maps. That's a pretty cool way to start it off. Just throw me right down the hole into the depths of... Oh, oh okay, okay. <clears throat> Is the, is the the curiosity has brought you here? All right, curiosity brought me here. The f fallen deep into a mysterious cavern. I, I wasn't really thrown. I hadn't really fallen. I was I was um, thematically shoved in here. A seemingly long abandoned ruins is found. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you long abandoned ruins. That checks out. Um, more narration? I feel like I'm missing more context here. With a portal made of light at the end of it. Fair. Where does it lead to? Uh, I have a feeling we're about to find out. Whoa! Wow! That was pretty kick-ass. Wow! A new adventure begins. Okay, this is by far one of my favorite intros to a Minecraft map ever. Oh, nope, I'm being teleported. Oh, you're finally awake. Oh yeah, I'm not doing voices. I found you in the forest near the village. May... may Sir, may, may I leave the bed? But who are you? I, I am me. Or what are you? I, a human, you say? If I'm not wrong, aren't you supposed to be in the overworld realm? Your attic? You went through a portal, but I thought the legend said the portal in the other realm had been long lost. Uh, no, I had been narr narratively thrust into it. You know, ex machina. Uh, you need to find the portal in this realm, but I have no idea where it is. Can I please leave bed? You should try asking our chief. He might know a thing or two about the portals. It, it, take the food in the chest. Oh. And find the chief. Oh, the very gener- Bread the lifeblood of this channel. Uh, thank you, sir. You know, yeah, yeah, that's what I- yeah, yeah, Jerk. You know what? Just for kneeing me, I'm going to steal everything in your house. Or I'm going to get invisible blocked. I'll steal everything in your attic. Man, there ain't much to steal here. You really are poor. Oh, current progress. Gems retrieved. Cartographer. Current progress. Oh, the basement must be blocked for right now. Um, so the notes for this map said to pretty much read everything as I come across it. 
how to upgrade drop weapons in the armor required on the anvil to start upgrading. Okay, maybe upgrading will work up too, but they do recommend there's a library, gem abilities, mysterious book, potent magic, gem pieces divided into seven pieces from the gem creation by an unknown force and light shield. Okay, so a lot of this I have a feeling I'm going to... So these mechanics, instead of getting really deep in the weeds episode one, I think I'm going to ignore a lot of the... I'm going to ignore some of this until it becomes relevant. Item Trader's House. Cavern Relic. Does anybody know where the chief is? Help, I'm lost. I need an adult. Oh. What's up? Oh. Hello, human. It's been a while since any humans coming to this world. Yes. Uh, do you want to return where you were? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but the portal is only activated using the power of natural sunlight. The day has never hasn't come. Uh, oh, the ever now ro roll credits. Uh, the world where the sun never ascended. The day-night cycle in this world is controlled by a powerful gem hidden underneath the realm, broken into small pieces that spread across the world. Because of it, the cycle has never stopped. We have been Living with night all these years recently, our habits started to decay due to lack of sunlight. More and more monsters starting to attack. We as villagers cannot hold it back, let alone. So please help us retreat to Chem so the situation... Yes. Used to trade with the weapon merchant for also some money to buy some armor to protect yourself. Thank you. Um, you should also talk... Oh. Talk to every trader in the villager... Indicated by a glowing effect. What's the glowing effect? Um, okay, well, I guess first things first. Uh, blacksmith. Blacksmith sells various types of upgrade materials for the lantern. Next to the blacksmith shows what items you need to upgrade what. Aww. I can disenchant stuff. Nothing in there that I care about. That's all locked. Anything to steal from the blacksmith? No. So it told me to go to the blacksmith. Oh, wow. Wow, there's a... There's a lot to this. Oh, hey, yes. Uh... Oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to use... I'm supposed to buy a weapon? Is this where I pick my weapon? That's a tool sharpener. Tool sharpener. Oh, um, I think I'm just supposed to... Okay. Does the librarian count as a merchant? The librarian sells enchantment scrolls. Wow. Thank you. There's even an enchanting room. Very nice. This, this hub world is... I, I must say, this is one of the better setup map. This is probably one of the best setup hub worlds I've encountered in a very long time, if not the best. Petrified land and may... Okay, don't need to go there. Talk to the merchant. Armor merchant. Hello. So I'll be back for you in a second. Weapon merchant, my boy. What am I buying? Wow, the mace has a lot of damage. A scythe could be pretty cool. 3.2. You know what? I'm doing the scythe. Because I've always wanted to beat people over the head with a hoe. <laughs> awesome. And then let's talk to the armor merchant. I want that, and I want pants. I get yelled at if I don't go out with pants in public. There's another merchant. Unless the village elder is the last mer the village chief is the last merchant. No, he isn't. Oh wait. 
vendor is he does he count he must count unless i'm supposed to talk to the cartographer nope i talked to the cartographer nope i've talked to the farmer i've talked to the armor merchant thought i've talked to everybody i'm how do I lose a whole person? Did I just straight up lose a person? How do I lose a person? Like, I know I'm not the best at Minecraft, but even I have a tough time losing a whole person. It's the village chief. Vendor. We'll just kind of work it backwards then, I guess. Ooh, weapon preview. All about weapons. Passives. Look forward. Sneak. Look up. Activate. Cool. Let's see what the scythe does. Hide movement speed and attack speed. Cool. Vampiric. Whoa. Okay, that's kind of awesome. Unyielding? Cool. I don't actually know if it's going to be cool or not. I just picked it because I've never used the scythe. So I was supposed to talk to... So I've talked to the farmer, so we're good with him. He checks out. He's a homie. Talk to the librarian. I've Oh, wait. Is there somebody past the blacksmith? Yes, the item trader. Okay, 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 okay. 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 What's up? Unneeded items for money? Nice. Cool. Return to the chief's house. Then can I finally begin my many adventures? I wish to begin my many adventures now. Looks like you've met most of our villagers. Yeah, there's a cartographer in the basement I can't get to. Help me with my battles, thank you. You can earn money by killing monsters just outside of our village. If you're wondering, I wasn't, but I figured. Uh, forms of trading. You can exchange your money. Uh, it is better to have better gear than the ones you can buy from the trader. I advise earning some money and upgrading your gear at the blacksmith south of the, vill in south of the village. Lastly, here's a warp stone. You can use it to teleport to any other waystone you have registered. There should be a waystone near the east exit of the village. So what is my current objective? Oh, he's an exchanger. Okay, so what am I doing now? Uh, I advise you earn some money and upgrade. On the east end of the village, wherever east is. East. Step on the Ender Eye to register. I wonder how that works. A dark for all right. Let's try this out. Let's see a dark forest. Level zero undead warriors. Somebody easy to just kind of try things out on. Piece of cake. Combat, easy. Not a problem. Combat, really cool, actually. How does the warp stone work? I guess I'll figure that one out as well. So for my friend the blacksmith, what do I need to upgrade my hoe? <laughs> my hoe, my scythe. Requires three pebble and a tool sharpener. All right. What do I need to upgrade my armor? I need, from Leather the Chainmail, ten pebbles. So what's a pebble go for? Three. Okay. That's not so bad. So my current objective is to... my 
is to gain enough money to upgrade stuff. Uh, it, it didn't really give me a spot to start with, did it? Cavern Relics and Spirit Forest? I'm curious, you know, what's going to be locked behind what? Do I get to pick this adventure? Do I get to go down a path? Oh, there's a villager there. Hello, Mr. Villager. Can I be of assistance to you? Okay, I'm stopped. Sorry. Please do not trespass the horrified spirit forest. All right, I'll just... Dare enter such a place, you're still be taking that... This for your own good. Okay, then I will just go the other way. Maybe this adventure won't be cool. I am sorry I exist. That's my bad. Still don't know how this warp, warp stone works. So I guess to the... I guess I'll just keep going this way then. You know, a nice easy adventure through the dark forest. We'll do some exploring, get some upgrades. It'll be a good time. A level zero zombie now. Piece of cake. Now what I'm very curious about is exploration. Am I encouraged to stay on the beaten trail? Not stray too far? If so, I mean, that's fine. Copper coin. A level zero skeleton. Not too bad. Oh, I'm surrounded on all sides. Whatever shall I do? Yeah, not too bad. This is pretty fun. Ooh, what's this? I definitely don't want to be fighting skeleton archers this early. Oh. I'm really excited to get the uh... so will it let me teleport? No, I guess I still don't totally understand how the there it is I gotta hold shift and then use the item, that makes sense so to do Do melee upgrade. The first one, three pebbles and a tool sharpener. So three pebbles, one, two, three, and then a level one tool sharpener. Okay, so I need to kill four more things. Not a problem. Then I hope this will let me progress on with my with my many quest. Oh, and it looks like things will respawn. Very nice. Back when I played Dark Souls 2, my buddy was letting me know, like, hey, only kill this stuff so many times before it never appears again. Like, that's bad, right? Ooh, yeah, that's very bad. You know, he only had limited, uh, limited availability or limited chance to pull loot. That should be, and this will get the the last upgrade. The last item I need for upgrade, which should be just this universal tool sharpener. All right, let's, let's make sure. Tool sharpener one. So now, do I... So now, how does the upgrade process work? How to upgrade. Drop the weapon or armor with that material and require materials on the anvil. Oh. Whoa! Level 
level 2 scythe, plus 5% walk speed. Hell yeah! Dude, that's awesome! That is sweet. Um, the Topaz one? Such kind of energy is transferred, which allows the revival of the dead. The energy is also used in balance out the darkness part of the Black Opal. Recently, the miners have discovered a hidden cave mining in the cave. Okay. So that's the first one in the list. Let's accept. All right, you can enter the cavern relics by walking into the miner cave southeast of the village and head deeper into it. Okay, so I start one quest at a time. That's... Okay, that makes sense. I do one quest at a time, and that's how I'm going to progress. Okay. I like this a lot. This is a cool map. So hopefully now... This Jabroski Potamus is cool with us. Nice. He's letting me pass. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Unless I go this way, deeper into the mine. That might be... Oh, yep. I see a dude over there. That is... Fantastic. Where do you think you're going? This way. Uh, the place is too dangerous. Can't you read? No. Oh, you discovered an ancient civilization. Cool. Uh, full of monsters. I'm very well acquainted with monsters, my friend. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. So can I go in? Please? Button? Oh, good lord. Just let me in. I already have permission. Oh, hey. That's a zombie miner. Cool, so can I go? Whoa. Okay, this is cool. This is very cool. Mr. Coin. Alright, so I'm going to step back here. And I think this is a very good place to end episode one. Your experience has been channeled into magic shards. I think that's used for... I forget it. I, I wonder what that's used for. Trading, not possibly? And so I don't lose levels? An achievement get onslaught. Kill twenty five monsters. Okay, this is a really good spot to end the episode. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we'll really get moving on. Uh, we'll get moving on this first uh, first boss. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>